Hey guys, it's Deborah. I haven't been on in a little bit, so I just wanted to um, talk to you guys about something I saw recently. Um, it was on um, Steve Fletcher, one of his videos. Um, I don't really watch him that often, but happened to see something. And he was talking about this painting, this painting you see before you. And I'm going to be really quick here. So anyway, yeah, this painting somebody painted, and I, I'll put a link to the video in the description box. But basically... He um, was saying that it was a Christian man who painted this painting and um, sent it to him. And I just think it's kind of like, well, I'll get into what I'm thinking. So he pointed out that there's like a secret thing within it. So this man made this painting of, he said it was somebody, this person on this boat heading towards the rapture. And if you could see three like meteors coming down and we know when we go up, things come down. You can read that, um, you know, it talks about in seal six, things coming down from the sky and all this stuff. And look, it's a full moon. And many people have said the rapture happens on a full moon. Now let's look at the moon. And he talks about this in his video. The man who painted this picture didn't realize, but in the moon is a lion's face. Now it may take you a couple minutes to see it and you may not see it. So I'll help you see it. But we know that, um, you know, like the lion is a portrayal of, you know, the king of Judah or whatever, um, basically God, you know, the lion anyway. So, um, yeah, if you can't see it, I kind of like sketched it out in the moon. Now the artist did not mean to do this. So there, it's kind of like a rough sketch of the lion's face. And again, the artist was trying to paint a picture of a man going, I don't understand the boat reference up in the rapture somehow. And, but you see stars coming down or things falling down and you also see a full moon. And, uh, so many people have had a dream that the rapture is on a full moon. So again, you know, the lion king of Judah or whatever, that's the, um, you know, the face. And so now here's that picture again, you can kind of, now that you've seen where I sketched it, you can see the nose and the eyes and the mouth. And it's just incredible because this man didn't know that that would be in the moon. So he's believing this is prophetic, like when this guy painted this picture. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description box to his video on this. Um, not trying to like steal anything from what he was saying, but it's crazy. I saw something else in the moon pointing the opposite direction. I saw the face of a wolf and I just kind of sketched it out here. So initially he's like, Oh, do you see the line? Do you see the line? The only thing I could see was the wolf. So I see like a wolf face. So there's the lion face and the wolf face. And I just kind of sketched it roughly looking to the side. And, you know, like the enemy is like wolf, you know, wolf in sheep's clothing, you know, um, basically the enemy's portrayed many times as a wolf. So see, you see both faces. So it's almost like a dual birth. It's almost like the full moon with the, the stars falling down or the meteors falling down or whatever you would, you want to call it falling down. At the same time, you know, you have something of God happening and something of the enemy happening. And in that painting, he said that man on the boat was, I think he had said something like going up into the rapture. I don't know. I don't get that. But if you look at the full painting, you have this man here on a boat or a person on a boat heading towards the full moon. And the minute I saw that, not only did I see the lion face, not only did I see the wolf face, but something else really stood out to me when I saw this man on the boat. The first thing that I thought about was the clip in I pet goat too. Now look at this. You got a man on a boat and it's supposed to be the antichrist going towards, now you could say it's the sun, but it's like the pic the picture shows a full moon. You could call it like that. And what do you see in the background? You see bombs coming down or meteors or something. You see like one, two, three, four, whatever, like coming down. It's literally the same thing. So this man who painted this painting, I don't really know, you know, what led him or how this all worked out. But again, he didn't realize that he was painting the lion of Judah, that there was a lion face in the moon. And it's just, I don't know, it's just eerie and crazy. And I mean, is this a message from God? Is this, you know, I, something not of God? I don't know. I mean, it would seem it's a message from God saying the time is near or time is at hand. Look at this picture. I mean, it's literally the man on the boat heading towards the round circle. You call this the sun, but 
I mean, in the painting, it was a moon. And then you have things falling from the sky. And, you know, when, when things go down, we go up. And at the same time, the Antichrist right after that is revealed. You know, um, the dragon, he, his tail swipes down a third of the stars from heaven. Then he falls down after Michael and the angels um, were fighting. So this is just crazy to me. Here you have the twins, Gemini, um, you know, in the constellation representing twins. And there's a full moon at some point, which is what Steve Fletcher was talking about, in that falls in the Gemini twins coming up, you know, in the near future. And it's about the twin births. I've talked about before about the twin births, the Antichrist and the man-child, you know, the Antichrist being born, not physically, like I believe he's already on this earth, but being born in the way of like indwelling um, the man of sin and turning him to the son of perdition. And um, I also believe, you know, at the same time, that's when the child is born in Revelation 12, and then he's caught up to God. It's a dual birth of good and evil. And what I see in that full moon, it's like the lion and the, the wolf. And I have twins, and they were born on 118. And I've said before, that's like a type of 911. And Aaron from Exalted Lamb 1 has said, you know, his twins, he feels like the Lord has shown him, re represent the tu dual births, the good and evil being born. Not that his twins are good and evil, but that they represent the dual birth. And I feel like I was just shown during this time when I was researching this, that my twins represent the Gemini twins, which is actually the battle in heaven. And my twins are seven years older than his twins. So it's like, how do we know that there wasn't a battle in heaven? And then his twins were born. These are just representations. Like my twins, I've been seeking so long. What does it mean? And I feel like the Lord showed me that it's a means it's good. And like, I've had hardship because my twins uh, lost their speech through um, a vaccine injury when they were two. And so it's been nothing but struggle and hardship. And it's like just this struggle. And I feel like somehow this represents that tw those twins, Gemini, which is Michael and Satan fighting in heaven. And then seven years later, um, Aaron from Exalted Latin One has twins and feels like it's a representation of twin births, but it's about the man child being born and then caught up and the Antichrist, you know, indwelling. Uh, or the, the Satan in, indwelling the Antichrist, like him being born that way. So it's a different type of twins. And my twins represent the struggle and the fight. And I don't know why that just came to me, but it just came to me. So it's kind of like, again, the full moon is in there. You've got the dual birth through that painting, the iPad goat stuff. I don't know. It's just a lot of connections. found this all quite interesting. Now I want to talk about the full moon a little bit more. You have Genevieve... Um, Sister Genevieve, um, who has her channel, Genevieve Brazil, she um, has talked about the Lord showed her that this song called um, Bad Moon Rising, um, that song, um, I believe it was from like the 70s, it kind of talks about what's about to happen because she was shown that the rapture is on a full moon. So I just gonna, I'm just going to read the lyrics to that song because it's kind of crazy when you read the lyrics. So I don't know, you have this painting, you have I Pet Goat, you have all these things, I'm saying these connections now. Let's just read the lyrics to this song. So it says, I see the bad moon arising. I didn't want to play it because I could get, you know, copyright stuff. I see trouble on the way. I see earthquakes and lightning. I see bad times today. Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. I hear hurricanes a blowing. I know the end is coming soon. I fear rivers overflowing. I hear the voice of rage and ruin. Don't go round tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Hope you got your things together. Hope you are quite prepared to die. Looks like we're in for nasty weather. One eye is taken for an eye. Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. 
there's a bad moon on the rise. The Lord led her to um, look up the lyrics to that song. So, yeah, I mean, who would think of that? She doesn't even listen to um, non-Christian music. So clearly that was meant to be. And that song is just clearly representing the day of the Lord, which is going to come and be this huge destruction on the earth. I've done a lot of study on <clears throat> the book of Revelation, Daniel, the book of Daniel, and just throughout the uh, minor prophets, the Lord led me through there to show me how much the day of the Lord is throughout there. And um, I've had a very real dream and actually slash awake vision of a massive earthquake. So if you kind of look at how the events should go, you have like as the, you know, third of the angels are cast down, this massive like natural disaster stuff is happening, like huge, huge things are happening and um, this huge earthquake and everything's shaken. And um, at that same time, you know, we're caught up. So like, it's like, I really truly believe it's at the same time because that's what I was shown. So <clears throat> basically, um, yeah, I, I know this is any day. I'm about to put out another video to tell you why I know it's any day. And yeah, that whole full moon mixed with that painting, to me, that's just really crazy that this man paints this, doesn't realize he paints a lion in there. I see a wolf and a lion, and then it looks just like that last frame from My Pet Goat too, uh, where the Antichrist is basically now alive and born, and it's just that, that looks just the same to me. So um, yeah, I just thought all that was really interesting uh, combined with the lyrics of that song that Sister Genevieve was just led to just look up the lyrics. So when you put all that together, I do believe it seems like this will be on a full moon, whether, you know, it'll be different times of the day, depending on the place of the world where you're in. And that's, you know, so that I do not believe we're going to, you know, be prepared because it says, you know, people will be eating, drinking, given in marriage, married and given in marriage and stuff. We'll just be living our normal life. And it will happen in an instant. So, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I thought all those things together were very interesting. And I will be talking to you again soon, very soon. I have a lot more to discuss. So uh, have a good evening or day. God bless and shalom.